testing the idiom straight as an arrow. So close. Means jumping through a whole lot of hoops. Brilliant! And the weapon of choice is a compound bow. We are almost there, and now it's time to dial in the aim on our compound bow. And in order to do that without destroying a ton of arrows, we've scooched everything to the right. We've placed this aiming hole, wow, exactly, exactly 12 inches to the right, that we hope to do like 95% of our dialing in without the danger of the axis in the way, so that when we're done, we scooch the whole rig back 12 inches and fire it through all the rings, in theory. In practice, quite honestly, I have no idea if we're going to be able to do it. If a test arrow can make it clean through the yellow ring and go on to hit the bullseye, they know that at least they have a chance to match Odysseus. After one or two deft adjustments, really, really lined good. up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna give it one more little bump here. They're set to fire. Range is going hot. All right, firing in three, two, one. Come We're here, super look. Close. We are very respectably close. Where did it hit this? We touched, we touched the ring. It's not good enough. They'll have to reload, recalibrate, and try again. Two, one. <laughs> Dude! It destroyed the Boy. pineapple. It just. Lining up this arrow has proven to be a lot more difficult than we were expecting, because normally you aim for the thing that's at the end of the arrow's flight, like our target. But because we have something that's in the middle of its flight, which is our ring that we're trying to get it through, it's proving to be a lot more difficult to line it up. But each successive shot gets them closer and closer, until... Firing in three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, that was... Yes! Dude. <laughs> That looked absolutely perfect. And just as important, did the arrow sail through the ring? Oh my goodness, right? didn't touch it. Through the middle, wow. It didn't touch it. Good. That's in our zone. Yeah, I think it's time. Perfect. All right, let's move the whole rig over. Yeah. Okay. So it's with extreme care that their finally calibrated shooting rig is moved back in line with that ominous array of steel rings. And don't forget, the only character to ever make this shot was fictitious. <sighs> it's go time. Our axes are lined up. Our bow shooting rig has been aimed to the best of our abilities adjacent to the axis. And now it's been moved into line, so it's looking down the throat of history. Odysseus, here we come. It's worth recalling that this challenge in itself is a myth. There's no record of anyone before Bowmaster Byron attempting it and no expectation that it's actually possible. Range is going hot. Here we go. Odysseus shot. Firing in three, two, one. What? Did it what? do it? Did we do it? Did it do oh it? Oh my God. God. We hit that target! Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here. Just hit that target! It's a one-shot wonder. Actually, it's more like a miracle. That is some wicked setup we have. I did yeah. not expect that the first time. I, that should not have worked like that. No. This will go down in Mythbuster really? history. Yes. I need to check that high speed. I need to see what happens. Uh. This is mesmerizing. I don't, I don't believe my eyes. This is literally a mythological shot. <laughs> All right, guys, it's time to call this one. Does an arrow actually fly straight? Well, Odysseus used a longbow, and we were only able to accomplish this with a compound bow. This is true. And I'm pretty sure Odysseus wasn't a robot. I have to agree with you on that one. Every arrow that we did shoot had oscillation and wiggle to it. But we did just shoot the straightest shot that we could ever shoot. That's true. And even if we used modern technology in this, we still were able to accomplish this feat. All right, I think that makes it obviously uh... Plausible? Plausible. Plausible. Odysseus wasn't a robot? No! Why would he be a robot? No.